Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center and today we're going to go over how to tell if your rabbit is a boy or girl. We already did one of these videos and I'll put one up in the corner for older rabbits but somebody requested, well several people requested if I could do it for younger rabbits and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when they're smaller. Here we go. Okay, so what we have first is uh, these, these rabbits are about five weeks old and we're gonna pull these out and what we'll do is we'll look at the five week old then we'll look at the four week old and then we'll look at some three week old and we'll just try to get an idea of what they look like. So these are our blue eyed whites. We introduced the blue eye into the genetics. So these are pretty popular rabbits and if you are interested in one of these, they're only $20 extra uh, from our regular price and you can see more about them on our website. So how we look them over is we basically just uh, sit them down and we kind of roll them back on their butt but so I basically just slide my hand underneath their their chest I take my other hand I put them up on its butt and I kind of rest them on my stomach to try to give them like a back a backdrop and then I just push down on the pelvis area and I take two fingers and I'm pushing right on top of it and this one is a boy now how I can tell that is because that light that little dot right there and there's got it's a cone shape. Here, see if you can get better lighting. You see that little cone? It's like in the shape of a safety cone or a volcano. And then there's that little dot on the end of it. That's the indicator. Here's one that has a little bit of color. Looks like there's almost like some red in it. What are you doing? Stay in there. Okay, so we'll take this one, do the same thing. I slide my hand under the chest. I'll take my hand, put it right up on its butt. Oh, this one wants to be. I'm just going to press right here. And we have the same thing. We have a cone shape, kind of looks like a volcano with a little dot on the end. That's another buck. Okay. Now going right through the next one. Here's another one. I love their blue eyes. They're so pretty. Okay. So here we go again, roll it right back on its butt. We still haven't seen a girl yet. Now if one wants to kick, if they want to be a little nuts, just put your hand over their eyes. They're just like an ostrich that what they don't see calms them down. And once they get relaxed, you can try to, you can try to do this again. <laughs> Look at this one, you should get that on video. This camera shining. Okay, here we go, finally set still. Okay, again, I'm gonna press, and I kind of press down and pull back a little bit to try to show it. Yep, there's another buck. That's the third buck in a row, because it looks like there's that little circle at the end with a dot. So we that's three bucks in a row. Three bucks in a row. Okay, let's see if we can get a doe in here. I grabbed four purposely just to try to I figured I'd have at least one doe in here. Okay, here we go again. Come on, baby, we need a doe. Come on, sit still. Finally, we finally got a doe. Okay, so the difference is, even though that those two look similar, you can, t what, buddy? I think this is scaring it doesn't know it thinks it's like an animal or something the microphone on the end of our camera is a big puffy windproof microphone it almost looks like a like a rabbit or an animal of some sort okay so again the males look like a, a tiny little volcano or a safety cone and the females they almost resemble the same thing but it, there's a line there when you see the line that that is the indicator that it's a female so, here we go again. You see that line? Mm -hmm. That's a female. That's when you know you got a female because you see that, that vertical line. You're a girl. You're a girl. These are right around four and a half, five weeks old. So, you know, some are bigger than others, but let's try this again with three-week-old rabbits. Say hi, Wonks.
you'll see that our we got a tote full of red rabbits. Now these these bunnies are about four weeks old, and we're gonna see what they are. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna roll it on its butt, and this is gonna be a lot more difficult, so we really have to, come on, sweetie. Just keep trying. And I would, I'd bet that's a buck. So pressing on the top of it, I see a volcano with a dot on the end. This is a buck. Okay. Now a good way to, if you're, if you want to get an idea of how many bucks and how many does that you have, how many boys or how many girls, I usually keep a piece of paper and pen, or you can keep your track with your phone. But I'll, once I'm done, I'll either put a line or a one for a female, or I'll put a two for a boy and I'll mark their, their left ear, and that way I know if I've already, I've already looked at that, that rabbit because it's already marked. You know, a permanent marker is gonna stay in the rabbit's ear for about eight or nine days before it starts to fade away. So we're gonna look at our second one. And I don't have a marker on me right now, so I very well could grab another buck. Oh, look at this one. Okay, so here we go. Rabbit number two. We, I already can tell we got a girl. See how that there's that tiny little line there? It's subtle, but it's there. That tiny little line. That's a female. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go again. Sometimes they just don't want to sit still. Calm it down, pet it a little bit. They're cute little ears. These red rabbits are beautiful. Okay, what do we got here? And this one's another buck. See the little dot? There's no line, there's just that dot. Now that little bit of brown, that little bit of brown stuff that you see down there, that is just from the, the it's wax from the scent glands. It's totally normal. I think this was the girl that we grabbed. Look at it, it's kind of like a blonde, like a strawberry blonde. Did we already check this one? The strawberry blonde one? Okay. Oh, stay in the tote there, buddy. Sit still. Oh, we got another girl. This is a girl. I'll show you that little line. It's okay, it's okay. Just, just looking at you. See that little line? And that's a female. Looks normal, and then I apply a little pressure, pull it back towards me so I can see it. You just let me, she wants to kick me away. There's that line. Okay? Like right around four weeks, I'll take the dough to a buck's cage. And during that time, the kits are all running around the cage without mama in there. That's a terrific time to take them out one at a time and write down how many boys and how many girls that you have in the litter. Because then you can go back to your reservations and you can kind of start letting them know, hey, this is what I have available and you can set up your sales. I usually let the doe breed with the buck for about 30 minutes. And you know that's more than enough time to go through this entire litter. And by then you have everything, all your notes are done and, and everything's complete. Okay, just relax. Yeah, once they get older, when you go to do this, um, their, their male parts will actually, there'll be a protrusion coming out. Okay, let's see what this broken buck is. Our broken buck, well, maybe it's a buck, maybe it's a doe. Okay, let's see what, this broken rabbit is. Oh. Definitely not a buck. So we got ourselves a doe. So you see that line? Hopefully you can see that. Now some say that it, it looks like a taco, the older that they get. Um, but really all I'm ever looking for is that line 
and that cone with a dot on the end. So we got a buck and a doe. Brother and sister. Need a baby bunny? If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Thank you, Rachel, for recording. She's behind the camera today. Hello. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hope that helps somebody out there. Thanks for watching.